The European Parliament has voted to put an end to roaming charges by 2017 by adopting the Telecom Single Market Regulation in its Industry, Research and Energy Committee. Pilar del Castillo, European Parliament negotiator on the telecoms package, emphasised how important the new regulation is. And at the time we are living now, trying to develop a digital single market, a full single market in general, uh, there it was no sense that uh, you know we still have these barriers uh, to communicate with each other inside the European Union. So we uh, must be really, uh, you know, happy. Parliament and the Council agreed in June to ban roaming fees and guarantee equal treatment for all internet traffic. In a couple of weeks, during the next plenary session in Strasbourg, MEPs will vote on the new compromise deal, which aims to make mobile communication cheaper across the EU. It will have a major impact for digital consumers who travel within Europe. We are at the real end, so we have a very happy, happy news on that for all consumers in Europe which we are not to have any more uh, roaming charges for data or for voice or for uh, SMS. The compromise text also puts forward the first EU-wide net neutrality rules. They aim to ensure open access to internet content without discrimination. It is uh, the first region in the world, Europe, in which we are going to have a primary legislation which guarantees exactly that we can have access to internet in conditions of equal treatment in all respects. Once adopted, the agreement will ensure that consumers no longer have to pay roaming fees on calls, text messages and data usage when in a foreign country. It will also guarantee equal treatment for all internet traffic, a big step towards a connected continent. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu.